More than a decade since the last vehicle was made at the GM facility in Janesville. But now leaders are focused on what's next to come for the site. Rock County reporter Adam Duxter spoke to one of the developers behind the plan and joins us now with how they say it could transform the city. Adam? Yeah, Eric and Charlotte, the president of Angus Young Architectural Firm says it's not often they're given a 5 million square foot blueprint to work with. But now changes coming to what they're calling Centennial Park could address some of the city's biggest needs. From a bird's eye view high above the city, piles of rubble are all that's left of the former GM plant in Janesville. To a developer, it's a bit of a blank canvas. At this point in time, the opportunities for, for jobs within the footprint of the existing city of Janesville um, is huge. Angus Young and Associates have been working with property owner commercial development property to create a roadmap for what could come next for the site. President Joe Stottleman says the existing infrastructure, like a railway, makes this a prime location for any developer. That is um, completely unique in probably the nation. There isn't that many sites. Both those companies have told us that this is a priority site for them because of that. But it's not just industry that could move here. Rather, restaurants, office space, even housing, all outlined in the plan. The developer says that's on purpose. So housing is uh, an important topic within the city of Janesville right now and uh, the need for affordable housing and for uh, uh, new housing uh, options within the city is a priority that anybody, everybody is um, going after. These plans are now left with Janesville's planning commission, who has a meeting set to look them over for December 16th. But those behind the plan so far say it's a step in the right direction. Now, I also talked to city leaders in the city of Janesville today who say they're not able to comment publicly on this proposal until the Planning Commission has had time to look it over. But with the opportunity to develop 260 acres, those behind the plan say it could be big for developing the local economy, housing, and jobs. Adam, thank you.